when it's hoes. My man. Speed. So for the first toast here that we have, uh, shout out to uh, Blackish. Uh, show Blackish recently, sitcom on ABC recently came to an end at the eighth season. And uh, just shout out to that show because, you know, it's, I think they had 175 episodes. Uh, they're in syndication now, so you know they've been getting syndication dollars for a while. Had a couple spinoffs. It's nice to see a black show, about, a, fam a show about a black family that's wholesome in modern times, stuff like that. Uh, I know we do see a lot. We do see we're seeing more black shows, but I mean it was just nice for that one and just everything they had about a black family, fathers there, all that type of stuff. I I know it's I sound like I'm just talking about old school stereotypes, but still a very nice thing to see, and it's always good that you have a show that lasted that long, did a good job in ratings and all that other type of stuff. So, uh, yeah, shout out to that. Uh, I know Kenya Barris gave us, like, ish fatigue because of all the shows he ended up putting out. But, you know, shout out to him and definitely shout out to that show. Something that I enjoy watching. Uh, so, yeah, just definitely want to take time to shout out that show and, like, that huge milestone and that long run that they had. Yeah, yeah shout out to the Fun yeah. show. I can go next. Um, speaking of shows, um, I wanted to shout out Quincy Isaiah, who stars as Magic Johnson in Winning Time, um, which is an HBO show. Um, just around like Magic Johnson when he first got around that league and also just the Lakers Showtime era Lakers um, So really just salute to him like when I see him I just I just instantly see Magic Johnson so perfect casting on whoever um, Found him for that role. I didn't realize up, up until this point that they were wearing like lifts in their shoes like I saw the behind the scenes and saw them all wearing lifts and I was like, okay Like he's really committed to like really giving the full Magic Johnson experience uh, I feel like I should pause on it. I don't know why but yeah, really salute to him. Like he, he's he's portraying him down to the T. Um, I know various people have like different concerns. I'm, it's various my, Lakers, let's be right. Various Lakers. It's, it's my opinion that nobody's really gonna be hundred percent satisfied with how they're portrayed in these shows. But I think I think Quincy Isaiah is killing it. So really salute to him. Yeah, Matt Johnson's a man tall too. You don't realize. Six nine. He's, he's, yeah, he's big. Yeah, he's like super tall. Yeah. Niggas not short. Yeah. Mm. Um, my toast is gonna go to um. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, um, there's a new Hulu um, show. You guys ever heard of Theranos? Oh, yeah. Of Theranos? Theranos? Yeah. Theranos? Um, my toast is going to go to Tyler Schultz. Schultz. Um, he's the yes. whistleblower, uh, b blower, rather, that are, uh, that have ousted the uh, terrible company now, more than I've learned about company. it. Yeah, yeah, that is um, Theranos. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying, his father, or excuse me, his grandfather was actually a, um, George Schultz was a, um, investor and he lost almost seven hundred million dollars from wow. that investment. Also, a former uh, Secretary of State and Treasury. Yeah. So, um, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with Theranos, they were a company that um, boasted and claimed that you know they were able to do um, a blood test and check all these vitals with a drop of blood. Turned out to be a farce, and um, it's still going on in court. I know the um, founder uh, was actually about to be sentenced to um, jail, and some of the investors are actually going to be. Um, having a, a trial in, I think, June. Um, but again, just to have the courage, especially when your grandfather's on the board, to um, whistleblow and, you know what I'm saying, um, stand up for what you believe in. So, big shout out to Tyler. Listen, if you gave that woman money, anybody who invests in money with that woman, I'm sorry. Like, you all of that don't deserve to lose Listen, I'm a, I mean, just, it, wow. That woman was crazy. Like, you could tell she was crazy just, just from watching the dropout. That's the name okay. of the show. And his grandfather didn't believe him the first time, too. Uh, That's a sad show. part. Yeah, uh, yeah, they never. I just, uh, what's the word? Just uh, a like, liar. It was like a, it was like Bernie Bernie Madoff, like real life. Like he just lie on top of lie on top of lie. Never had a problem. I gotta watch that show. You should watch the doctor. You should watch the doctor. Twenty twenty. I get. Doc, I get Bernie. Bernie yeah, there's like fifteen documentaries. Like I was saying earlier, like it's like, just crazy. Bernie Madoff at least sold a product. At least he did find. Somebody could get returns. Like Elizabeth Holmes. Literally, it was just bullshit. You just lied. You just kept lying. Was people so were stupid. Bad. I think it's because people's lives in danger. Yeah, yeah that's the part that we can't yeah. overlook there. It's like patience. Okay. Yeah, sounds like a patient that really got affected by that too because, I mean, Sorry. the tests were so off that people thought they had recurring cancer. People thought that they HIV. did have HIV or cancer. And sad. They were using third party systems for and claiming that they had proprietary um, you know, product. That's terrible. That's crazy. So. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to their own. And she talks weird as fuck. Yeah, she want to talk like a man. She, she want to talk, talk like Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. She want to be some respected. She, she got she got deep voice. No, no, she no, she just put she it changed the voice to be like Steve. She want to be Steve Jobs. She, she wore a black shirt next like him. She was off. She used all the same companies that he used yeah. for marketing. Yeah. Crazy woman. Like mentally, she was off. Like it wasn't just she was a scammer. She was she dropped out of well. Yeah. She was smart. She just was overly ambitious. 
Let me see dropped out of Stanford, too. It's actually kind of smart. I'm not saying you're smart. See, to pull that off, you got to be kind of... Yeah. No, you just got to be white and just be able to lie. That's fair, too. Yeah, that's fair, too. No offense. That's, 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 that's why I don't feel too bad about the people, but sorry. I don't either. Yeah. Shout out to her and Anna Delvey. Lying ass people. Yeah, it's, it's the exact same yeah. as Anna, Anna Delvey. Same, exact same. I'm not saying, I don't know too many. Well, shout out to the people out there with the PP. PP. Shout out to the PP. PP. PP loans. Oh, yeah, they're blind. They're All right, I'm gonna give my uh, toast to um, Dwayne Haskins, uh, yeah, football man. player, a uh, quarterback, uh, NFL player who passed away a couple weeks a uh, couple weeks ago on a horrible uh, just uh, incident. He was hit on the highway in mm-hmm. the early morning in Florida. Dwayne Haskins, if you don't know, he was uh, went to, originally um, from New Jersey. He actually played high school football at Bullis here in Potomac, Maryland. Um, he went to Ohio State. He was one of the, had one of the best uh, passing seasons in all of college football history. Top prospect. Got drafted by uh, Washington Commanders, Redskins at the time. Played there for a few years and then ended up with the Steelers a couple years ago. And just 24 years old, I believe. Mm-hmm. So that's why he was about to be. Super and young. just and that thing right, too. Super tragic. Literally just got married. Um, yeah. It, it was a way of starting a family and just passed away. And just crazy. Just doesn't seem right. You know, like yeah. the NFL draft was this past week, and I vividly remember the 2019 draft when we drafted. I remember exactly where I was. I was in the gym in my old apartment, and when Washington selected him, and even if it didn't work out the way he wanted to, it just if you would have told me back then, oh, he'd be dead in like three years, it's just uh, crazy. say he got drafted in 2019, it makes it even wilder. Yeah, like, like <laughs> all the little draft picks you've seen drafted this week, like that was Dwayne Haskins literally three years ago. Well, no, no, no. So now nah, he just doesn't get a chance to. Go through the prime of life with his wife and have or have kids just senseless and just awful and shows you how unfair life can be sometimes. So, so Dwayne Haskins, uh, his life and his legacy and um, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the fact that you know all his teammates and stuff. They have nothing but like positive things to say about type of individual. He was a good guy. Yeah, he was yeah, very so positive good guy. guy. Like I mean, it, literally, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about him like, mm-hmm. as a person. I remember yeah. I went to training camp that year with my dad, and I just remember he just he would sit there and just. You know, he was big star. He just got drafted first round. He sat there and signed autographs for 30 minutes, 45 minutes after the practice was over. He didn't have to do that. Didn't turn away any little kid, signed everybody's stuff. So, you know, good kid and just un- unfortunate. Just reminds me of just like the Kobe thing. We're just like, all, all you can say is like, it's just not fair. It just right. it shouldn't happen that way. But, you know. Think a lot of thing. So, all right. So, sorry to go transition. Yeah, man. Hey, so, I mean, what happened? Rest in peace, man. 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 It's important. Show that man some love. Yeah, man. Damn, that's smooth.